Hello everybody, uh, <clears throat> just uh, messing with these settings real quick, did I really, must have forgot to change the, the name, ah there we go. Okay, cool, so. Yeah, no one's watching yet, but uh, gonna play through this game again. Uh, for the people that uh, haven't seen me play through this before, it's a horror game. Uh, a lot of surprises and stuff <laughs> in between. I played through it a good bit, a little bit earlier, um, and I can't seem to win through my way, but uh, I'm gonna see if I can get through it this time. I have a little bit of better idea what I'm supposed to do. going through uh, World of Horror again. I, I'm trying to go through the uh, the basic uh, main quest so I can get used to playing randomized stuff. But uh, welcome. Just started streaming this uh, the other day. Probably gonna keep doing this for a while since there's a lot of like random elements that uh, can happen in playthroughs. This is not always the same thing. Okay, uh, nothing in the mailbox. Get that small experience boost to start off. Uh, I'm gonna change her outfit. I like this one. Let's start a mystery. Uh, let's see. Let's see, there's one I haven't done yet. Eels. That one. There's only one ending for that one. Okay. Yeah. So I did most of these already. Oh, the school scissors? Okay. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After you disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that could stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, so this is actually the demo story. So all this stuff you can kind of... Like, if you play through it, it's not really that... <laughs> yeah, I'm not working, uh... I'm not working right now. Um, Something happened at my job where uh, someone had a case of COVID yesterday, and I was actually off, so I got lucked out. Um, I don't know if we're gonna continue doing business after that. So, um, otherwise, yeah, uh, I played this yesterday morning too. <clears throat> so uh, it had some people interested in watching me play, so it's pretty cool. Uh, friends diary. Okay, yeah, that's the ritual stuff. But yeah, this is a pretty fun game. Just going through it. Wait, was that a spell? Cauterize? Let's see. Plus two stamina, one a day. But I think this race is doom. Forget the spell plus one reason. I don't know, I kind of want the stamina. I think I'll do it. Oh, it doesn't let you go past 17. Man, that kind of sucks. Okay. Uh, this is PC. This is a PC game. Uh, it's still. It came out a few months ago, um, and they're still updating the game. It's still an early access game, but it's like a visual novel slash RPG, where it puts you through some random, uh, 
random, uh, randomly generated uh, events, and then you have to go through it, and you're trying to solve mysteries before the world ends. Uh, let me see. It's pretty cheap. It's like $15 on, uh, on Steam right now. Uh, where is it? Explore School. Here we go. You catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. Takes a peek. Gas of pure heart. The twisted faces, possible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. Okay. <laughs> How's it going, Starbets? You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. Okay. Yeah, I think there's nothing you can do in this room, so I just gotta explore the school again. With the trail growing cold, it might be a time for a different approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library might be a good idea. Let's see. So you never know with these events. Sometimes you get the same same uh, action. Uh, sometimes you get like a different result, uh, counting on your stats. Um, and you can't really know unless you do these events before. I haven't seen this one yet, so I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Five percent team. Oh my god, that sucks. So it, this required knowledge. My knowledge stat is pretty low. I got five percent doom, so like that adds to this meter. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very retro. Um, so with this game, uh, if the doom percentage goes a hundred percent, the world ends, and like a lot of time wasting stuff uh, wastes doom. So you kind of have to uh, manage your doom percentage. There's a few things where you actually go up in Doom, I mean, you can go down in Doom, but it's very rare. So, that sucked. You can look outside. Hey, what's up? Okay. <laughs> so, doesn't lead me to anything. Instead of a clear blue sky, you see the bloated corpse of a long forgotten deity looming over the school's roof. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk being noticed by whatever other elder charters still lurk out here. I've served, let's see, the two times I did this I actually served, uh, passed both of these. I think this is, might be dexterity, so I'm gonna try this. Failure! Oh my god, 20 experience plus curse? That sucks. You raise your head in time to see Alciel's a single eye glaring down at you. You scream as your mind is flooded with forbidden knowledge and your skin is etched with ancient ruins and curses. Well, at least I got experience, but let me see what the status effect does. Casting spells raises doom. Okay, well, I'm not going to be doing too many spells anyway. Yeah, this is a horror game, uh, Joe. It's, <laughs> um, it's uh, based on a lot of Junji Ito stuff, who's a famous horror manga artist. Uh, and uh, this is <laughs> this is uh, really creepy. It gets you with a few things here and there. Okay, you found blessed chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in the ritual, which is here. This was uh, in the diary. Just gotta match this. So you got a triangle, and then whatever this weird thing is here. Okay, yeah, that's fast. Now I need the candles to do it. What sucks is this playthrough, I can't, uh, let's see, despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change, dread level increases. So uh, this means there's more chance to enemy encounters, and it's kind of a pain in the butt because you lose stamina and reason. The experience is not that much enough, and uh, I don't have any weapons right now, so it's going to be hard to kill. Let's see. Let's keep exploring school. <clears throat> You're stopped by a girl you haven't seen in months, but how could you? She died in an accident. Yo, what's up? Alright, so she has 18 HP, 1 all, so she actually brings down stamina and reason at the same time. That's kind of, uh. Hey, how's it going, Razor Nation? <laughs> Razor Nader? Nature? I can't. <laughs> it's, it's hard to tell if that's an R and N. Okay, but yeah, anyway. Uh, combat sequence, this is how the fights start. Um, there's some cases where you want to like dodge and like stuff, but uh, generally it's early, you can just kind of wing your way through. Um, 
There's also a way you can get improvised item right here. Get a weapon. <laughs> so we'll do that. Hopefully we get something decent. And uh, just no reason to prep. There's no weapons I can attack. So I'm gonna try to kick. There's a decent chance of missing too. Ugh, okay. So I gotta kick in. Uh, what did I get? Oh, broken bottle. Sick. Three damage, ninety chance to hit seventy. Quip. Okay. So I'm gonna prep, attack, prep, attack. And save the sequence because I'm just gonna mash this. Oh, and she heals every time she hits too. Man, that sucks. Okay, load the sequence. Just gonna mash through this. Well, at least there's only one all and not like a lot. But man, this hurts. Cool. She's dead. Alright, got the holy candles. Not time to do the ritual. Wait, what's that? You take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it all becomes a, it becomes a tall woman-like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now it's your chance to fight and defeat this heart is also your only chance. Okay. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? Okay. 20 HP, 2 all. Okay. It's a little stronger than the demo story. Let's have the broken bottle in attack. Man, that hurts. And she got my face too. Minus one charisma, minus one strength. I think I can at least go to the hospital and clear that up. Okay, she'll die in the next hit. Yeah, she almost got me though. Cool, that mystery solved. I wonder how you're supposed to get ending E here. Ending B here. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend gravely wounded but alive. You help him and you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. Okay. Cool. Alright, so that's the first mission solved. The stamina is down a good bit, in my reason too. It's really hard to ration all these. I do went down to 6%, that's pretty good. Alright, let's see what the effect is this time. Oh, okay, this is plus more doom for the... for stuff outside the city. Alright, that's the first key to the lighthouse. Uh, for the people that just tuned in, um, how's it going? Uh, it's, uh, so the key, the key that you get adds up here. And once you get five keys, you can go in the lighthouse, which is I think the end game for the for the campaign. It's pretty hard to get through. All right, so let me get the status. I think I need more stamina because I was at five. Okay, up to seven. Okay. This actually doesn't tell me who is still in the chat right now. Okay, uh, can't really do it. I can just look through the people. Hey, someone's standing in the shadow. Every time I look through the people, it's always something random, but like, it doesn't really affect you. Just there to scare the shit out of you. Alright, next one. Far off fable of a fear festival? Okay, sounds cool. Oh, wait, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have done this one because the. Because it's out of the town. Yon know, has sent you a letter inviting you to a curious sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree you need a break from all the stress. So, uh, <laughs> so you can watch TV. It's just like it just shows you like random stuff on the. Um, it just shows you uh, randomly. Uh, like stuff, just flavor text. It's not like super important, but it's cool that you can mess with stuff. 
Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst thing that could happen? You ask yourself as you board the bus. Just when you thought your stomach could handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village, and the nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. See, I don't. I tried this the last time. I'm gonna continue. Okay, it didn't do anything. Okay, so we just gotta pick an option here. Wow, this sucks. I'm cursed and I got that slit mouth too. I don't think I can heal unless I go to like a, a doctor. And it's not, I'm stuck here during this event too. Folder at available activities line. Onsen sounds good. Yes, plus two stamina. That's good. Relax a bit. This one reason stamina. Cool. Okay. Enjoy the festival reaction. There's still some time before the festival starts. The locals are seemingly busy setting up stands and decorating the place. Few stands are already open, but you can't shake off the feeling something is wrong. It's getting late. Uh See, I got four funds, so I might be able to buy something. Okay, lucky earrings, plus two luck. That actually might be good. Plus one reason, plus one luck. How much is this? Three funds? I think that's worth it. Weird sound wakes you up. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest edge. One by one, they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? Who are they? They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest to try to find more information about the festival? Okay. Go to the, let's go to the forest. Sun and storm force you to find shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave's walls. Aw oh, man, that sucks. Then you get some you get like experience if your knowledge is high here. Since it doesn't use up time, there's no reason not to like max out your st reason and stamina. Someone's watching you from behind the trees. Heck yeah, let's go. I'm not scared. Oh man, that's an enemy fight. What you thought was a, just a discarded pile of clothes suddenly moves. As it stands up, a cloud of white powder is released into the air. Whoa, hey, what's up? Let's see. Kinoko Gatherer. That's mushrooms, right? 25 HP, minus one all. So let's just beat the shit out of him.
two mass villagers. They were talking about something waking up at the next dawn. You wonder what's up with that. Continue. I think I know this one. Man, I got wrecked. Man, my Doom already went up like a good bit. This sucks. 70%. base game. Uh, okay. Cool. Festival. Oh, here we go. Night. No, I can't go anywhere. Okay. Uh, Onsen sounds good. Plus two stamina. Okay, cool. Man, my reasoning is going down too. Um, and I can't let the stamina or reason go down to zero. I'm dead. San reasoning is just your sanity, pretty much. Explore the weird village. You stumble upon a forgotten bookstore in a small alley. The interior is cluttered with dusty old toes, animal bones, weird vials, and stuffed exotic animals you don't even recognize. Can I help you? Ask the tiny man behind the counter. I think that will surely help you in your quest. Uh, well this sucks. I don't even have... I bought the lucky earrings before, so I can't do anything here. Uh oh. Everything's quiet. Trail of blood and sickly smiling sludge leads to an outskirt of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest, there's an answer waiting for you. Okay, sure. Four actions to sunrise. Rest and camp. Guess I just explored the florists here. <coughs> Droopy tree branches hang over the path, framing in an almost macabre way. It's almost inspiring. Get lost in thoughts. Ugh, no charisma check. You get completely lost in your thoughts and fall into a hole that was constantly covered with branches and leaves. Wow, that sucks. I lost two stamina because of that. A parasitic organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. Well, that sucks. Can't do anything. Sweet! Plus 5 experience. All nearby trees are connected underground. The main branch leads east. You make a mental note to avoid the region. Neat. Uh, I guess... I think it should be able to survive a enemy fight here. The trees overhead block the sunlight you begin to flee gloomy. Minus two reasons. Man, this is not good. An abandoned factory. While exploring the factory, you're caught by masked people you've seen from the aunt's window. Tied up, they lead you to the cult leader. We knew you'd come. You hear a raspy voice, your aunt's voice, coming from behind the priest's weird mask. She signals towards the door behind him. Our master is waiting for a final blood sacrifice. Wow. Okay. Am I about to get wrecked? Hello. Yo. What the heck? Did I die? Whoa. With a loud bang, the ancient heart disappears and the high priest falls on the floor, grabbing their shoulder. The last thing you see before blacking out are beams of flashlights and a hand of police officer saving you from fall. Later that day, the Texas interrogating you are confused when you tell them about the ritual of blood and eldritch beam. The village is abandoned with no trace of blood anywhere and you are the only one seeing the ancient horror. Whoa! I don't remember seeing that ending last time. Holy heck. Okay. While you could catch the leader of the cult to interrogate them, the people are safe. You board the old bus wondering what would happen if he didn't stop the ritual on time. Whoa, what? What happened? <laughs> I survived. Holy shit. Okay, 
so uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I guess. All right. Next effect. Riders. Let's see. What's this do? Well, probably more enemy encounters. Another key. Let's see. Where am I at here? Four reasons, some stamina, so I'm gonna have to recover reasoning here. Sweet. Let's see, watch TV. Can't really do too much here. So start a new mystery. Let's see, vicious versus a very violent vigil. We received an official looking letter. What does a law firm from Tokyo want with you? We regret to inform you of the passing of our client and your grand uncle. His funeral will be preceded by an overnight vigil as per the client's request. Here's an address and list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any of the names. Cheek, you decide to check it out yourself. What's the worst thing that can happen? Okay, I think I did this the other day. Following the directions from the letter, you slowly fight your way through the Ogro forest path. The old mansion looks like it was torn down and rebuilt many times, but where is everybody? Investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. I'll take the bath. Plus one reason. Takes you some time, but finally you manage to find someone. Is that another guest? You should ask him what's going on here. The body is laid in the mass bedroom. You should pay him your respects. Okay. Corpses are strung up on wire. Like macabre marionettes who painted smiles and rosy cheeks. Man, I didn't want to lose reason for no reason. Person hates she knows you entered dark room. There's no way they allowed your grand uncle to just lie there. What was the correct bow and clap order? Maybe other guests will know. You didn't get a, get this with a letter? Here, you can have mine. Okay. 10 p.m. Pray over the body. What time is it? Yeah, 10 p.m. I guess I'll go talk to this other person. Oh, this guy looks a little bit. All right, what is the vigil sound? Let's see. Clap, bow, clap, bow. Oh no, he twitched. Okay. I wonder what happens if you don't do this. Because I think the last time I did it was like. came out different. Uh, let's see. Explore Mansion. A friend has asked you to meet him at a certain secluded location. Getting there, you find a telescope and a note attached, signed by your friend. The note tells you to look through the telescope. You don't see anything at first, then you notice it. The bloated body of Athulos is getting closer. Okay. Then that's the, the elder tar that's about that's gonna kill everything. Uh, do, 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 do. Wait, what what time do you say for the vigil? Twelve AM. Pray over the body again. Plus one item, cool. long pig steak. 
plus two stamina adds new status. Uh, it's always, like, I always think of it's gonna be the worst, but yeah, we'll see. I think I'm gonna, think I'm gonna use it. Dang, I'm hungry now. Uh oh. Minus one charisma. Oh my god. That sucks. Uh, okay, well, let's explore the mansion a bit. The round window of the crooked manor tower is calling you. You feel the strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. Uh, I'm gonna fight this feeling. You don't have the strength to move a finger, the blinding light is growing larger and larger. To your shock, you can't feel the ground under your feet. Wow, that sucks. Lost in time and space, you drift into nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. Oh, sick. Let's see. The temperature abruptly drops you into your shudder in the icy cold. You find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland. The sun gusts blinks you to your knees. You inhale deeply, fly, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ears are already numb and freezing. You have to move. Uh, okay. Icy coast. Pyramid, give up. Thing is, I don't know what stats these need. I think I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, I'm gonna check the icy coast. Sweet, I got an item. Sticking out of ice, you find a hand of a nameless monarch, its fingers long and deformed. Feeling a strange urge, kneel and kiss it. One of his rings falls to the ground. What does this have? 5% doom, plus 1 strength. Wow, my strength is already down to it's only it's down to four. That sucks. They're gonna wear it. Okay. Oh man, it's in slot C. It took away my earrings. For luck. Okay. So it's midnight, so I guess I'll go to the master bedroom. Oh no, the body's missing. Okay. You should instantly recognize the room from the newspaper photo. Three years ago, a man hanged himself here. Why is the vigil held in a place like this? Everyone's gone too. Seems that someone has already removed all the furniture from this room. The overgrown plant is casting an unsettling shadow. Man, I think you can't do anything here. Looks like a person. So all you can do is explore the mansion. Feeling like you're on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your parents' old friend, Father Yasugi. Hey kiddo, so the priest is currently moving some boxes in and out of the church building. Could you lend me a hand? Uh, let's see. Don't overwork yourself. Sweet. You only pick up the smallest boxes, but the whole thing takes up more time than you expected. Afterwards, Father Yasugi invites you Time for a cup of hot tea and home baked cookies made by one of the parishioners. You explain your situation to him. The priest listens, letting you vent all of your doubts and anxiety. It's cool. I think it was worth it. Managed to find one of the guests there, shake him out otherwise safe. You both decide to get the hell out of the place, but the door is gone. Pair is standing next to the window. The man is muttering something to himself while his wife is observing you with her unnaturally bulgy eyes. Okay. Body's missing. Can't do anything here. Okay. Oh, I can check the wardrobe. I forgot. There's a meat cleaver. Yes! Four damage. This is definitely worth it. Okay. Let's see. So this H ring, is it? Plus five doom for so, well, it's fine, I already put it on. I feel like it's kinda I don't know, the luck luck seems like it's a 
I don't know how important it is, but I assume it's like something more important than it lets on. What time is it? Is it three? Is that a three? I was exploring a mansion. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a bush before you can do anything. However, they twitch and move. Man eating plant. Okay. 18 HP, minus 2 stamina. Yeah, this sucks. Wow, the cleaver is not letting me do too much. Cleaver's not letting me hit as much. I, it's probably the bottle's probably better off. Let's put this in storage. Oh, whoops! I discarded it. Ugh. Okay. Let me put this vigil fan. No, I'll hold on to that. Feel watched. Dang, no reason is going down. You stumble upon some more, foolishly scratching a scar. With each motion, it gets a little deeper. With each motion, it more blood appears. With each motion, he takes a step towards you. Okay, hey, what's up? Okay. Hopefully I can kill him in two moves, cause... Okay, cause I'm gonna lose all my stamina after this. Yes! He's out. Whoa! As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your whereabouts. Whoa! Walls of the corridor collapse, revealing an alien landscape. You can taste blood in your mouth as slimy appendages slowly get closer. A voice in your head tells you what to do. Oh yeah, last time I sacrificed a guest here. I might see if I can get it out the way. Uh, let's see, perception, luck, dexterity. Oh my, my dexterity is at 8 already, okay. Sacrifice the guest. Man, that's kind of nuts. An unseen force leads your hands. You reach for a knife and stab the surprised guest. Dang, this guy just showed out of nowhere, too. Ooh. Conclude the ritual. Price is paid. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the wet grass. The old mansion 
nowhere to be seen. Standing next to you is a naked, bloated old man. You recognize the tattoo of the man's toe. He's your deceased granduncle. With a coarse voice, he explains the ritual. You try to keep up with him, but you're weak and your head spins. The death toll must remain the same. Two die and two survive. You feel like vomiting as the old man who has cheated death disappears behind trees. Everything gets dark. The man who you thought was your uncle has cheated death, making you an accessory to murders. You know a police officer will believe you when you tell them the truth and do your best to forget the nightmares you left behind. Okay. Cool. What's the effect this time? Okay, I think I know this one. Rush action is less effective. Okay. Another key. So I got three keys. And, uh, let's see. This sucks. My strength's up, but the doom. I'm just gonna put this away. Someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish? You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious about what weird fish did he bring this time? She grins. Cool. I get her along. Minus one damage received from combat. Sweet. She's a meat shield. <laughs> What weird fish did he find this time? Let's see if I can heal this scar on my face. It's killing my stamina. It's like rough. I think it's a hospital here. Let's see. Plus two doom. Okay. Slip mouth. Okay. One funds. That's all they got. This is pretty important though. Let's see, one hunger. God, that's what killed my charisma. Minus two strength. Grow. Man, that sucks. I got all this stuff that's like destroying the shit out of me. Uh. by slit mouth or let's see I think slit mouth is the worst so I'm gonna do that cool okay straights back up that's all the funds I have though man they really don't want to give you money in this game okay to do let's see Investigate the seaside location twice to complete the quest. I think I'll do that first. Crabs are feasting on a bloated corpse carried to the beach by the waves. I'm gonna search the body. Inside a man's pocket, you find documents. They're all strangely dry. Did the man really drown here or was he brought here? That's cool. 10 experience is cool. 
more explore and I'll get that done. The town's docks are a mix of modern warehouses, small shops, and bars where the alternative crowd gathers. An ancient wooden temple occupies a small hill at the town center. Uh, okay, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna recruit allies here. Oh man, that sucks! When you leave, let's see, not only you fail to recruit anyone to help you, but when you leave the bar, you're almost certain someone is following you. Okay. Minus one reason. Man. Okay. Do I have any spells? Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts a deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Let's see, I checked the door the last time and it, it wasn't my favorite. So I'm just gonna call police. The man escapes when you hear police siren. Before he goes, he draws an unfamiliar symbol of blood on your front door. Wow. Okay. Ooh, I can go to the schoolyard. Maybe I can get some people. Dude's working at school, right? We can break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? <laughs> it must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. Alright, let's see if I can recruit some people. Nope. See anyone that doesn't. Okay, let me look at them. Harmony. Okay, so I can threaten them, or I can share a creepy story. <laughs> Sometimes they help out. This is pretty good. Plus one reason is stamina. Heck yeah, that's totally what I need. <laughs> yeah. Minus one dexterity? Get out of here. Okay. Yes. Give me all those stats. Wonder what happens if I try them. Yes. <laughs> Minus one charisma. All right, get out of here. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I have two characters that gave me stats up. Escape the school. It's a bad time to be out of cash, says the grim looking man who's standing in your way. Our company, fortunately, specializes in cases like yours, will gladly help you get back on track. After all, he step, takes a step closer and you can swear there's a faint smell of rust around the man. Everyone has something to sell. So I think this is. They give you money for stamina, reasoning, and something else. Or Doom, I think this is Doom. So I'm gonna pick one of these. Let's see, uh... Because I'm gonna lose something anyway. Jar of Blood. Minus 3 stamina, man that's a lot. But I get some money, that's cool. The neighbor's office at school is empty. You did find a few jars all filled with weird eel like fish. Despite your protest, Kana decides to take one jar home. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can she sip her soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? Okay, uh, let's see. So I got two funds. I could probably go to the... to the store and buy something. I don't know if I can buy something good though. I'll take the risk. Let's see, steak knife 3, speed 65. That's pretty fast. I already have the bottle though. It's not worth it. Plus one reason adds a new status. I think the, the merit is not worth it for that. Plus three charisma, minus one stamina. Uh, well, that sucks. Okay, huh. 
It might be good. Oh, that's a slot C accessory. I already have something there. I don't know what the discount item is. I kind of want to roll. Let's see, do I want to? I already got a lot of doom. I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. There was. Some, let's see. So that's that. I think I'm good. Let's investigate the apartments. It's an enemy encounter. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the railing you stairs. You suddenly trip but grab the railing in the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. Hey, what's up? Twisted corpse. Let's see. Minus two reason. Okay, well it's not gonna take away my stamina. Oh, it's a corporeal enemy. I can't attack it, so I have to run. Spiritual actions, actually. Okay, so you can do this. Even if you don't get it right, you'll be provided with a hint. Okay, so... I haven't done this yet, but apparently the corporeal enemies, like, you have to do a certain rituals to get rid of them. And it's the same every time, because you can't attack them normally. Let's see. Or a material offering an attempt at peace ghost dealing 8 damage. I got 2 funds. That might be good. Sever their entire soul or world. But he's got 18 HP. That's not worth it. The funds aren't worth it either. Kinda wanna try. What's this? Prey. Regain 1 stamina. Cost 2 reason. Man, that sucks. I'm just gonna try this. Corpse bites you. So I said it was supposed to give you a hint. Oh, five bows and claps. I try my risk here. You got three moves right, man. That's that's not enough of a hint. I'm I'm just gonna just gonna run. Hey, what's up, Monware? Long time no see. I see you on Twitter a lot. <laughs> just playing this horror game right now. Let's see. Oh, uh, where are you? Where's support actions? Is where's run away? I need to run. Defensive. Here we go. Dodge, brace your impact, meditate, run away. Yeah, I'm out of here. I can't hit this guy. I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go and check it out. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it is. It's pretty crazy. Oh, wow. It's the. His nose, the video chat. It's a little weird. Should probably get that fixed. Let's see. Investigate apartments. People point and talk about a man on the other side of the street. He looks confused, muttering to himself while occasionally touching a festering wound on his cheek. You stop in your tracks and listen to the man's curse incantation. Man, I lost two reason? That sucks. Wow, I barely have anything left. Like, next time I fight something, I'll probably get wrecked. Huh. Okay, so I could probably just go home, rest. Sucks because it's eating up my doom time. I 
When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Uh, I'll read the letters. Oh man, that sucks. Ate my funds. Okay. Seaside. There must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding there. Ocean is hungry. You're stopped by a person with a knife. They look incredibly sad. It wants me, but I'm afraid I'm too much of a coward to do it myself. Can you help? Ugh. Yeah, funds is uh, the money you get. It's like... <laughs> you only get like four, and then there's very few places where you can get more, so it's kind of... it's super rare. Ugh, god. I hope I can talk to him. My charisma is low though, so I don't know if it's gonna work out. Sucks. Dang. It's been our entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell is she? Man, that sucks. Wait, what am I investigating seaside? Jar blood. Peace of mind. Wow, five doom. Yeah. Let's see. Man, it's not looking good. So you see this doom right here, this percentage. Like once, if it once it hits a hundred percent, the world ends pretty much. So you're supposed to solve five mysteries <laughs> before that happens, because you'll get these keys after each mystery you do. And you could go to a lighthouse, which leads to the end of the game, apparently. Uh, man, this is rough. Two reason too. I have, I don't have much time or money to make it. Let's see, investigate school. If I fight something that takes away all my reason, I'm done too. Woo, park guest. What's up, dude? <laughs> I seen him before, so doesn't. Oh, he killed my reason, completely. Ugh, I should be dead, but I think it's letting me at zero. Sometimes you'll get enough with the level up or whenever the story is done. Check the bathroom. Check the bedroom. I think I'm gonna check the bedroom. I found a neighbor, but when his eye burst. I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye too. Must go to a hospital and both punch our eye now too. <sighs> Minus three reason. So I brought her to hospital, it took too long last time, and then she got wrecked. Uh I have no reason to do this though. I think I'm gonna try it too, see if I survive. Whoa! Oh my god. <gasps> Holy shit, I have to do it myself? Yo. I don't know if I can look at this. Holy shit. And the curse is coming out to you. You rush to the hospital, kind of getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater and you collapse in a chair in the waiting area. Wake up, dude. You've been sleeping for over three hours. You gradually open your eyes to see your friend Kana. She's wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore, eh? Couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened. I'm pretty sure I won't be weak with my left eye anytime soon. But thank you for saving my life. <laughs> Yo, so like, if you just take her to the hospital, it's not enough time and she dies. Because I've done this before, so... I did save her life, but... I'm at minus three reasoning. I think I'm not supposed to be... playing the game anymore. Holy shit, that was rough. You still process the events of our previous night. Corpse eating eels that laid eggs and eyes sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building. You watch it, police officers emptying your neighbor's place. Woo. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I didn't do that last time. The whole town stopped receiving an outside signal. Okay, so no more TV. 
capable radio. I don't know if that actually makes it a big deal. Hello, people showing up for the chat. Uh, I'm playing World of Horror. Uh, it's a, this horror RPG visual novel game that has like a, some roguelike elements in it. I'm trying to play to the regular story and beating it, but it's uh, it's been pretty hard every time. Let's see, it's minus two reasoning. I guess I guess I'm okay right now. I I, I remember hearing uh, like. You're supposed to be dead if you have zero reason, but... Uh, let's see... But I guess, I guess you're okay. Mine is one reason. Take a bath. Let's see, let's look outside. This guy. There's nothing going on. Oh, I leveled up. Okay, cool. Let's see... Plus one dexterity, plus one stamina. Resting at home. Dude, I don't have time to. That's like 82% doom. I have time to take a rest at home. So I'll probably just go up stats here. Quick think. Dexterity and stamina. Oh wow! Regain plus one stamina for all past event skill checks. That's a pretty big deal. I think I have to do reasoning here. Okay. There. I'm good. Uh, let's see... Start a new mystery... Okay, so I think there's only one mystery left. I remember when it started, the woman next door was strangled to death in her bed with no sign of force entry. The killer was never found and the apartment remained vacant. The door to her apartment was closed as she lived alone. What other ways are there? Let's see. I'll just go investigate downtown. I have two funds though. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on the backpack, lying nearby. So, I think it was, uh, you let the police handle it, you lose one reason. You take her home, but you, you get stamina? Loss? Yeah, stamina. Okay, but you get some experience, so that's not too bad. While looking around and ransacking your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin ghastly pale yellow color. Minus two reason. Man, that sucks. I passed this the last time. Let's see, I heard it's like, if you get to a certain stat for a lot of these events, um, if it's a 50-50% roll, but if you don't, then you always fail. So, it's, it's still, it's not win-win, even if you have high stats. Let's see, if I get the hospital twice, okay, I'll just do that. <clears throat> you meet with your friend who has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital watching the sunset. That would be a perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthly events. Uh, I got six charisma. There's a there's a luck stat, but it's invisible apparently, because there I have an item that like ups my luck. But the thing is, I don't know what it actually affects, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, these are burnt notes. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna put this in the storage. I don't need that. Take it on space. Uh, let's see. Ask about them. I'm gonna ask. Ooh, minus two reason. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Yeah, playing this again. I'm at the fifth story, but I, as you can see, I just lost all my reason. <laughs> um, well. Well, as you can see, my reasoning went got me bodied, and uh, 
Now I'm in the insane asylum. <laughs> The world, it, well, the world's ending, but you don't get to see the world ending because, well, you're in the crazy house. This took me an hour. It's pretty good. What killed me, I think, was the fact that uh, I didn't. All the all the mysteries I picked were out of the uh, <laughs> um, were out of the city. So I didn't have a chance to go to the shop to buy something to help me get through stuff. I, I think I would have bought like a weapon that would have been decent to get through. Uh, man, is this... I'm trying to see... I guess the chat's not showing up over here. Chat box should be... I have the chat box here, but... I, I guess I'll have to mess with that later. That's why I have it set like this, but I guess not. Oh well. But yeah, I think, uh, well, I don't know, whoever is in the chat still, um, if you guys want to see me go through one more time, I, as you can see, these run-throughs go through in, an hour, so uh, I don't know if uh, <laughs> you want to sit through that or not, uh, otherwise I'll cut it off for today. Have you gotten a chance to play the game, uh, Exceed? Okay. Well, do you want? Are you interested in me running one more? Uh, like I said, it's a, like it's looking like these last an hour. So uh, <laughs> I don't know if you're you have time to want to sit through it. Oh wow, the last of us too. I I kind of want to play it, but also like you know, the the hate <laughs> people hating on it too. It's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to sell right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna play one more since you weren't here before. Uh, Oh man, <laughs> so hard managing every everything. Yeah, no, I'm on where I'm, I'm gonna play one more. I'm gonna play one more. So if you you got time to kill, to watch uh, one more hour of this. I mean, unless somehow I die early, <laughs> unless somehow I die early, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think I have a decent grasp of what to do. Okay. But the drugs have made these hearts disappear. Or, you know what? I could play a random, uh, a randomly generated one. Because I've been playing the, uh, <laughs> I've been playing the, the, the basic story one, which is, like, supposed to get you, get you, like, um, get you, f uh, like, fixated on the actual game itself. And, like, you actually get like a random character, you don't always get the, the girl, and they have different stats and skills and stuff, so um, it's a it's it makes the playthrough really different. And the and the the demons that, that happen uh, the demons uh, effects that happen are randomly generated too, compared to the uh, main story, so it's gonna be cool. This game came out like in February apparently. Uh, it's still early access. So, uh, there, the, the guy updated it, like, last month for a bunch of extra events. Um, uh, like, the mysteries you saw, like, they picked between, like, five mysteries out of, uh, I think, 14 right now. And, um, you can actually mod the game to have your own stuff, too. Um, so there's a lot of customization to it if you want other people to play stuff. Let's see, you can actually change the color palettes here. One bit, two bit, that's brighter. I think I'm gonna pick this. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been looking too much into it, but uh, it's it's super interesting, so. Uh, Alright, I think I'll pick this color. No, actually, let's see. Wow, okay. I don't know, I like the black and white. It's easier on the eyes for me. Some of these colors are okay. Yeah, I think I'll take this. Okay. Yeah, I'll take this one today. Alright, now now we're gonna do quick play. Which should be a little bit different. Alright, let's go. This is gonna be my uh, last play for today. 
since you got some people wanting to actually watch me play a different playthrough here. This is always the same here, so I'm just gonna skip through it. Alright, so this is the effect that starts off the, uh, starts off the game. Let's see. <sighs> Banished to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors that stare to, and teleport its prey straight to the glass. Glimpses are hard, lurking behind your reflection are just beginning. Resting at home raises doom. Great. Well, luckily I don't rest at home too much, but sometimes, uh, sometimes you need to, um, to rest so that you could get your experience and health up, so it's kind of a big deal. So I still get the girl. Looks like my, my RNG was not good enough to get someone else. Huh. I like the color scheme for this. It's not too bad. Okay, uh, two, two, two. what do I get? Sometimes you get random... I think you get random spells and weapons too. You don't have anything. Allies and perks. Town status. Well, it's, looks like the town status doesn't really do anything here. Okay, let's go to my home. Mailbox is empty. Alright, I'm just gonna rest here. Extra experience. Always get extra experience for your first playthrough. There's no reason. You can't really get stamina or, or uh, reason for your first one. Okay, start new mystery. Let's see if there's anyone that I haven't done yet. 2-2, two, 2-3, two, two, three, two, three. Yeah, I've done all these before. So, uh, I think this is the one, yeah, this is the one that I got wrecked on because my reasoning was done, so I guess you can see it. Okay, that's a, so I'm just gonna do, get this achievement out the way. Let's get a hospital. Okay, uh... You find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in a room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary where doctors determined the cause of the death. Ooh. Okay, so I have no idea what any of these do. Uh, freezer, cabinet, cloth. I want to look under the cloth. Minus two reason. I don't have any charisma. <laughs> oh, I bitched out. That sucks. It's okay though. It's not too much of a loss. I'm taking on a shop for items here. Come on, give me something good. I just want like a weapon or something. Plus one dexterity to end the mystery. Plus two experience for each investigated location. So perception. I hear the the flashlight actually helps out with some things, so I'll probably just do this. Okay. Go to hospital. As part of therapy, some patients took part in art class. Some of their work fills you with dread. Man, I just, just want to kill my reason. Do I equip this? Battery seem okay. Okay. <coughs> Alright. I'm gonna go to, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll go to downtown. Something's wrong, you don't see anyone on the street, and you could've sworn it was crowded just a minute ago. You better hurry out of here. Rip reason. Oh, two funds minus one reason. That's cool. More stuff to spend on. You find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom. Inside is cash a note from someone who has been watching you. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. Ugh. So just <laughs> so it just randomly breaks into your house and gives you money. Okay. Sure. Not creepy at all. Let's see, I think this was, uh, 
Is this charisma or perception? Well, let me see. Yes! I got the experience. Didn't lose my reasoning somehow. That's good. Uh, let's see. When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Uh, let's see, do I... Let's see... Well, I know if I read the letters, I will lose my funds, so... Minus one stamina, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> so, I know the summary of the story stuff is like... Um, for this one is like uh, random neighbors are complaining about things. The one, the last one I just missed out on was uh, said the neighbors missing underwear. <laughs> oh, let's see. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord and Savior? The day of reckoning is coming, says a voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Hello, are you still there? Uh. See, do I risk it? My reason is already going down a good bit. Hang up immediately. Reasoning went down. You just put down the phone a little shaken up. Just how many people did that odd man call today? Okay. Man, everything's just killing my reasoning right now. Nothing on stamina. It's so different from my last run earlier. Not waiting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the railing you stairs. You suddenly trip, but grab the railing in the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. Oh my god, it's this guy, and I can't... Man, I'm really bad at doing, like... Ugh. Like, exorcisms and stuff. Uh, yeah, so I think you missed it, but... So, like, for these, you have to do a uh, ritual of claps and bows. Because you can't physically hit these guys, him and like some other people. Uh, it's either that or you toss money, <laughs> toss money at them, uh, and that does six damage here. Or you do, uh, you throw away, uh, you throw a weapon that deals two damage. But it's not worth it because you lose stuff. Um, but you do. But the thing is, you take risks and they, they kill your reasoning and you know I already, I already lost a lot of reasoning just from the other events so the safest thing to do is run let's see I think this is here dodge here we go run away plus five doom though no, but it's okay it's early I'm out of here let's see So it just wants me to investigate apartments the whole time, I think. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts a deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Yes! I did it this time. Before you can answer the door's letterbox, only opens an unknown invader tries to look inside. Luckily, you manage to stand still. After a couple of minutes, a man retreats. Probably unsure if you're home after all. Wow. Last time I failed this, and I think I got... My reasoning knocked out too. Every room is connected by vents coming from the unused boiler room. Could it be? You enter the dark boiler room and trip over a pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch and gas for heart. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you can smell something vile and rotten. You almost want to fall to the ground when you see the wide open stare of the dead pervert, his elongated limbs stretching and disappearing in vents darkness. Inside his mouth you find a tiny key. After the police arrived, the whole building was searched. Following the arms, detectives find the body of a man stuck in a ventilation shaft. Later he's identified by the, as the building caretaker. In his closet, police find pieces of underwear and warrior photos of the tenants. They are questioned thoroughly and eventually released as the murder case is being covered up as a case of unfortunate gas leak. <laughs> that one's pretty minimal. Let's see, what's this one? Okay, riders around the city. So yeah, I guess in downtown you explore you probably get more encounters here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and it looks like I got a tiny key item. I think that unlocks random stuff in the game. So that's pretty important. Let's see, uh, for reason. My stamina is actually went up a good bit. That's pretty good. Like this playthrough. Let's see. And uh, I'm gonna. They gotta do whatever for reasoning. Okay, that's cool. I didn't lose any, almost lost no stamina during that whole thing. So it's a pretty win, pretty big win for this event. Let's see. It's the scissors one. Ramen, eels, vigil. Let's see, I haven't gotten the second ending for this one, but oh, I think there's a there's an event I can use this key on here. Just the uh, the demo event, with the scissors. So I played through this a good bit, so I'll probably just gonna skip a lot of the text. But generally, you just uh, look through your friend's diary, look up this, write the sigil with the chalk, and get uh, um, get candles. It's a pretty short one. Let's see, someone upon a computer room. That's a good opportunity to check the school's database to look for anything that might help your investigation. And check it out. Sweet. Minus two doom. That's pretty good. Let's see, uh, oh yeah, school lockers, I forgot. This one's always bad, but I can look at this. Sport rifle. Whoa, I got a gun? Sick. Damage one shot, 14. Damage plus three, speed 100. Uh... I can equip it. It's better than the freaking this attacking. But I only get two bullets, looks like. There's a bat. <laughs> the cat's tripping out right now. Killer Queen! What are you doing? Okay. Whoa! Guns, guns are pretty rare for this game because, like, you have like a limited amount of bullets. Say hello to stream, Killer Queen. Hi, say hi. Ow, 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 ow. He's a little nipper, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Uh. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, this cat. Ow, ow. <laughs> He's hyper right now. It's just waking time. Okay, so damage 4, speed 100. This is pretty good. I think the this is probably better for um, for general use right now. The gun I'll have to save for something. I'm taking out space. I'll, I'll keep it for now. This is almost always something bad when I open it, so I'm just gonna stay away. Spore school. Okay, that always happens. Minus one stamina. Peek outside. Oh, it's this guy again. <laughs> Come on! Shouldn't risk that again. <laughs> okay. No, let's explore school. Oh wow, this is new. You enter the dead, damp smelling sport wing. You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could it be what you were looking for? Enter the water. You enter the pool and start swimming towards the backpack. Suddenly the water turns murky and you realize you're not alone in the pool. Wow. A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Yo, bloated teacher. What's up? Wow, minus two stamina? Man, he's strong. Uh, let's see, prepare attack. 
Wow, the, that, that won't let me do more than two actions. Okay, I guess I'll do that. Yes. Okay. Try it again. Dang, I missed. Darn it. Okay. One more. It's gonna hit. Cool. Plus seven experience. Wow, just one experience away from leveling up. Okay. Got the chalk. a square in this weird thing. I think, is that it? No, that's not it. Okay, I think that's it. Cool. kitchen, even though it's abandoned and lights are off, something is cooking in a large pot. You don't like the smell of it. Wow. Okay. Uh... What do I risk? Weapon or the first aid kit? Because I don't, I don't see myself... <laughs> I don't see looking through what's cooking would be something good. I'll level up in the meantime and see if I get something good from here. Deduction. I wonder how much ex extra experience they need. Drawing items during combat battles? Nah, that's whatever. Improve resting at home. I think that's what I'll take. Uh, and then plus one to knowledge, I think. It's pretty low. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna look for a first aid kit. I wanna keep my stamina up. Yes! Plus two stamina. Dang it, I just up my knowledge too. Knowledge check success. Heck yeah. Lucked out. Okay, so I need to find the candles still. Tall woman that suddenly face and twitching lips stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? I can't remember it. I think it's a minus status effect either way. And my charisma is not that high anyway. I think it's charisma. I'll just help her. Yes. Oh, it's luck. Wow. Okay. The creepy substitute teacher hands you some old books to carry. Among the mundane titles, you find one called Extinction of Mankind. You shudder, feeling the teacher's gaze on your back. Let's see. Okay, holy candles. Let's do the ritual. Blah, blah, blah. See this fight already. So I got. Just gotta punch her into submission. Got plenty of stamina. This shouldn't be a problem. The only thing is this bat is not fast and takes takes too much action, so like Not I can't get two guaranteed hits in. <laughs> yeah, this is the demo fight, so I've seen it like three times now, but <laughs> man. Oh my god. Dude, I'm almost dead. This sucks. Good thing that was a guaranteed hit. So I haven't found one where I can save the. I haven't found ending B though. I don't know how to do ending B. I've failed it before. <laughs> okay, let's see what this effect happens this time. What's this? Reason cost of all spells is increased by one. Okay. I I'm 
not using spells anyway, so I think I'm safe. Okay, two keys. I'll take my bath. Let's see. I'm gonna up my reason a little bit. speed is too high. So the speed is like, so it's 200 actions for you to do stuff. So generally you want less speed for uh, actions. See both the bat and the gun here are like 100. That kind of sucks. Oh man, actually this one says, oh it's 3 damage, chance to hit 90. There, not too much. You probably want more damage if you're gonna get like less speed on both. Okay, I'm gonna pick the next one. Did I do? Yeah, I did two of them already. Okay, uh. So this is the vigil one. Oh, yeah, this is the one where you, uh. You go out to talk to the guy. I mean, uh, to do the um, the uncle that died. <laughs> Whoa! What the heck? Minus two stamina. That blows. Momo bumps into you as she runs. Yeah, yeah. You you really have to hope that you don't get wrecked. Um, you there's a you can heal in the in the city. Um, if you just go back home and rest, but it, it ups your doom count by a lot, so it's kind of rough. It's kind of rough, like you have to balance whether or not you want to rest and heal or not. Let's see, Woma bumps into you as she runs from her beauty party. Before you can say anything, you notice her face. She's carved out her own eyes. If I can't see it, I can't see me, right? You shudder, seeing a faint vision of Goizo reflected in the beauty parlor's mirrors. Oh my god. Wow, that demon, the demon's kind of messing up. Okay, I'll explore the mansion. You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth eaten black velvet in an old lock cabinet. When you remove the book's wrappings, you recoil in disgust. It's bound in human flesh. Oh, is that the Necronomicon? I think? Let's see, what do I do? Man, I kind of want to take it. I'm going to take it. Plus injury, plus item. Ouch. <laughs> Grabbing a book, you cut yourself on a rusty nail driven through the cover. Yo, why is there a nail in the cover of the book? Plus 10 experience. That's cool. Can I? Okay. So, what's my injury though? What did I get? Status? Fractured ribs? How do I get fractured ribs from getting the Necronomicon? Come on. Minus one dexterity. At least it's not too big of a it's not too big of a loss. <laughs> like how did I get a, how did I break my ribs grabbing a book? Man, okay, so I'm supposed to do the ritual here. Okay, and he gave me, she gave me the vigil pamphlet. This guy always shows up. Let's we'll see what happens if I don't do the vigil stuff. Cause like, the last time I did it, I did the pray over the body and then the body disappears after the first time. So I wonder if I wait till 12 a.m. to do the, the thing next time. Or I can just skip out a lot and then burn the envelope and then cover the mirror here. I think I'm gonna skip doing the stuff. Oh, this 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 hoe stealing my money. Yeah, took her took her experience. Let's see, it's 11 p.m. Yeah, I'm not gonna resurrect you, man. 
I resurrected him twice. I'm gonna see what happens. Threat level increases. That means more enemy encounters. He's so missing. <laughs> okay. So what does this say? So 2 a.m. is burn an envelope found in the study. Okay. Oh yeah, I can check the wardrobe here. And I got the meat cleaver. This is a little faster. It's faster than the bat. Although it has a less of a chance to hit. It's only 5% less. Equip. I'm gonna put the wooden bat up. I'll just put no. I'm gonna keep that. Might who knows? I might need it. Uh, two, 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 two. The round window of the crooked manor is calling you. You feel your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. Fight this feeling. Get lost in light. Quick thinking. Oh man, that sucks. Uh, what do I do here? So I fought the feeling once and then I still got sucked in and then I got lost in light the other time. And then I think you lose a little bit either way, unless you succeed. I'm gonna fight it. Minus one reason. Okay, where am I? Lost in time and space, you drift and nothing to this until something pulls you towards the light. So I think uh, if your stats are high enough and you get lucky, you get something really good. Uh, when I got in the temple the last time, I got a katana, and that weapon was OD. It was really good. Um, I don't know about this other stuff though. I haven't tried it. And then like, I don't, I don't know what happens if you fail either. <laughs> okay. I kind of want that weapon, because that would help me a lot with random encounters. Uh... See. Nah, for the for the sake of playing on stream, I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick one of the other two. I'm going to desert. Yes. Plus one knowledge. The trek through this desert is exhausting, but you finally reach the oasis. You undress and step into the glowing water, submerging yourself completely. When you leave the pool you feel different. Plus one knowledge? That's okay. It's not a weapon though. Following a weak wave from cry, you enter a dark room. Inside, you spot a figure hunched in the corner. You recognize the expensive clothes, but this thing can't possibly be human. Don't look at me. Oh, it's that girl. Holy shit. Transformed by her greed. Sick. Okay, so she's got 40 HP and she attacks one to all. So I have to hope I can kill her in four sequences. So otherwise I'll die. It's pretty rough. Sweet. Oh, and I leveled up. Cool. Uh, let's see. Improvise. No, I don't want that. Charisma. Oh, cool. This will actually... <laughs> CQC training. But the thing is, the the uh, the gun was the gun was four damage, but it was still I can't swing twice without I have to swing twice blindly. I think I'll do the charisma. Let's see what else do I have? And then I'll, I have to level up with stamina, otherwise I won't have any more. Sucks I had to choose between that or stats. It's two a.m. Okay, so I think it said something about burning something at you. Burn an envelope found in the study. Where is the study? Is there even anything? Ah, oh, here we go. Ooh, do I open the envelope? I'm gonna open it. Whoa, plus one spell. Heck yeah. All right. What's the spell though? Expel evil. Ooh, this one's actually pretty good. One time use. It costs two stamina, but it's minus six doom. I don't know. I don't have that much doom considering 
because uh, it's three stories in and I'm only at 21% doom. I think I'm doing pretty good. So I think I'll keep it. Plus my... Yeah, I think, I think I'll keep it. That's pretty good. Okay. Wow, I'm supposed to burn it too. <laughs> wonder what happens if I burn it. So, master bedroom, it's still missing. Dilapidated corridor. That, that girl died. Nothing. Whoa! Hello! Yeah, okay. I'll, uh. <laughs> I'll, uh, go out here now. <laughs> Okay. Lift the heaviest box and don't overwork yourself. I'm gonna get reasoning if I don't overwork myself, and I think I need that more than anything, so I'll probably do that. Yes, plus two doom, but it's not really that bad. Oh, this is the guy with the scar. He's gonna attack me. Yo, what's up? I said the itchy won't stop. So, 14 HP. I think I got this. Yeah, he's dead. Cool. Wrecked. Whoa. As the vigil is near his end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start to collapse. Relay and shock a troop all your whereabouts. Huh. It doesn't look like I changed the uh, story too much here. So it says sacrifice a guest. I couldn't do anything the last time. I still can't do anything. The game is telling me I have to kill him. Okay, so... Conclude the ritual. Okay. Still the same ending. I don't know how it's supposed to change. I didn't do the I didn't do the ritual this time, and I did burn the thing. Guess I had to look it up. All right, let's see what's the uh, what's this doing this time. Oh, I think the smog rest action is less effective. Okay, another key. Yeah, this is actually the best amount of doom I've had like the whole time I played, and this is not the, the fixed ritual stuff, so I think it's uh, I think it's pretty good. I should probably rest more though. Alright, so what should I do? Experience boost. Yeah, no, every other time I played through the other thing, like, I mean, just uh, the last two playthroughs, like, I maxed out the Doom, <laughs> like, on the fifth case, so... So this is pretty amazing. Uh, let's see. So I guess uh, I can do experience, or I can go for kind of want to keep my stamina up. Yeah, I think I'll get enough experience either way. Uh, all right. So let's see. Just two more mysteries now. The ramen and the eels. <laughs> oh yeah, I think you missed uh, you missed me doing the <laughs> the this one. This is the one where your neighbor comes and helps you out because she's curious about the neighbor uh, trying to trying to um, the neighbor that like has eels or whatever. I think you saw me play through it, but. Uh, I just did it earlier and you missed out. <laughs> Let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, all right. But yeah, she comes along and she gets, she gives me minus one damage, which is pretty sick. Okay. Well, since I have this low percentage doom, I think we're gonna rest at home for one. Plus two stamina reason. Heck yeah. Okay, I'll take that risk. I want to make sure I survive. And, uh, well, I have four funds, so I could probably buy it too. 
chamfer items. Steak knife, 3, speed 65. Whoops, I bought it anyway. I didn't mean to buy it, great. So that's 3 versus 4 damage, 90. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> well, there goes those funds. I wasn't planning on it. Okay, uh... So I'm gonna do this. It said seaside location twice. So I'm gonna do that real quick. You decide to enter a small shady bar in the docks. Maybe some of your old fishermen can help you in your quest. However, persuading them to do so might prove difficult. Let it bite them around. The tell you tales of sunken seas and having to buy underwater things with too many legs. That's cool. Not using that anyway. Plus four doom. Plus two reason. Cool. And then I lost the reason from the finishing the event. Okay. Just so gonna go through these apartments. Wander through the old empty corridor. You find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brand stood inside. You could really use a drink. I remember I got the cheapest one and then I got wrecked with something. It's not saying I, I'm gonna lose funds. <laughs> okay. Not too bad. Oh, cool! I can go to schoolyard. Come on, give me stats. Nope. Cool. Plus one knowledge. Heck yeah! All right, time to scare them. Yes. Plus one dexterity. Yes. Give me those stats. I think I got enough characters anyway. Okay, I'll t I'll leave this person alone because man, I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. Let's see, investigate school. Hearing footsteps behind you, realize you are not the only student here. A girl wearing a demon's mask starts giggling as she's getting closer. <laughs> Squad up. Let's see, so... Okay, let's see the sequence. Easy. Three all? Wow! That's a lot of... That's a lot of damage. It's okay. I should be able to get her this time. Wait, what's that? Ooh, I know. Steak knife. I already have you. God. This sucks. And I bought one. I wasted my funds. I bought one, and then I get another one. All right. So she's gonna take the <laughs> take the jar. Okay, sure. Go ahead and take the jar. Let's see. Whoa! I got cursed. All right. What did I get? Ocean is calling. Oh, that. It's just a mutation. It doesn't look like it messes my stats. That's kind of cool. Man, this rib though. <laughs> Poor ribs. Okay. Gonna investigate the apartments. I'll take gills. Heck yeah. Oh my god, what's up apartment stalker? And then it's minus two stamina. Let's see, do I risk fighting this guy? I'm getting close to the end of the game, I probably shouldn't 
risk fighting him. He's got a lot of HP. Let's see, and my weapon only hit does four damage. It's a lot of HP. I think I'm gonna run. God, I hope I make it the first try, because if I don't... Yes! I made it. Sucks I, I lose Doom, but I mean, I have plenty of Doom right now. Burnt Notes. Legend from the La Prefecture Eels tell of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpses into a lake full of eels. Okay. I think that's just a hint to do the the side story thing. So I'll just put this in storage. Okay, so the bath I can't remember what the cold bath does. Think one stamina, one reason. Plus one doom. Oh my god. Well, it's just one percent. I'll live. Minus two reason. So that gigantic invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. Okay. Okay. Oh man, I know what's about to come up too. No, not Kana. Plus four percent doom. Man, the doom's like piling up now. Okay. So, if I go into the bathroom, I know that the neighbor's in there, and he's like dead, and his eyeballs exploded. And then the bedroom, that's where Kana's at. So, uh, I guess I'll show you the, the bathroom. I don't think it takes away anything. Oh god, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I lost stamina and reasoning. Whoops. Swollen body of your neighbor is running away inside putrid murky water. Both his eyes are messing with countless tiny blood trails leading from them in all directions. Oh god, avoiding this was actually the right decision. Okay, so I found a neighbor one of his eye bursts. I slipped down the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye now too. So I know the answer between these two. We must go to a hospital. We must puncture her eye, and you lose three reasoning. So what happens is if you take her to a hospital, she doesn't survive because uh, it takes too long. Um, and a puncture in her eye will save her, but a lose three reasoning. But you save her, and she's like super useful because she's uh, she's that um, one. Um, her stats are really good. So yeah, plus this looks really crazy. So I'm gonna show you this right now, since I think he came right when I wasn't uh, right when this after I finish this. I have to do it myself. Shocked you see countless tiny eels crawled out of your friend's eye in all directions. Will she even survive the blood loss? You rush to the hospital with Kana, getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater and you collapse in your chair in the waiting area. Wake up dude, you've been sleeping for over three hours. You groggily open your eyes and see your friend Kana. She's wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore, eh? I couldn't exactly tell the doctor's truth about what happened, and I'm pretty sure I won't be waking my left eye anytime soon. But thank you for saving my life. You still process the events of the previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay their eggs and eyes, sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building. You watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. So yeah. I think, it, I think it said three endings, so I don't know what happens. Ooh, okay, so I am two mysteries, one mystery away from getting to the end. Rose Liliana Town will close by the police. You have to find a new way out. Oh, well, I think this just adds more doom if you go out of town. Man, but my 
my reasoning is so low. Oh, I can level up! Sick. I think I have to do this though. This sucks. Alright, so party gift. Aw oh, man. Oh wait, sick. Letting allies go grants a permanent bonus on one of your stats. I haven't got that one yet. Regain one sound for all past skill event checks. Forgets reasons. Forgetting spells regains extra reason. Man. I only have one spell though, right? Yeah, so. That one lowers my doom. And I kinda kinda wanna keep that. This one seems the most worth it. Cause I kinda don't wanna get rid of my my members. Yeah, I think I'll do this. And then the reason. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna shower, get more reason. So I think that's a safe amount. <laughs> okay. Sucks I can't do anything here. I still have the gun too. That might be good eventually. Uh, do I change my... I can change my outfit this time. Can't get too much else here. Alright, man, I think I'm gonna make it. 52% doom, that's nothing. Alright, so this is the ramen report. Pretty sure you saw this one. Oh no, I think you missed it last time I did this. So, there was someone that was watching my stream the whole time. I'll just go ahead and read it out. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens to town as adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customer stuffs themselves dish after dish while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You're determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What's its true power? Flesh of the gods themselves. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. I'll go ahead and read it. I think there's some viewers that haven't seen it here. <coughs> Let's see. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, I've seen I've seen two endings for this. Oh my god, my cat is messing up one of my posters. Oh. It's all good. Hi, Killer Queen. Okay. Oh, discard two item cards to complete the quest. I think I did one without the... Um, I think if you don't do the dumpster dive, you get a different ending from the, the shop disappearing one. So I might do that, so you can see it. Because uh, the one disappearing was newer for me. I've seen both. Uh, let's see... Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. The food critic has a manic look as he describes ramen. His description makes your stomach churn. So, uh... Actually, since I have so much time, I'm gonna rest. See if I can get more. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Heck yeah. Don't try to take my stuff. See, Mr. Zuzuzu, your neighbor is a horror manga artist. He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. Let's see. What's that picture? Let him come up with his own stuff. Let's see. I kind of want to see this. You catch a glimpse of the it thing. Suddenly you feel very weak and excuse yourself to leave. Something truly evil has you in its grasp. Sick. Yeah, that's nothing though. Didn't really do anything to me. Okay, uh... I guess I'll just keep investigating apartments here. Okay, so this guy's gonna give me money for Sacrificing stamina, reason, or doom. So I'm gonna do this. Let's give me money. I got plenty of doom. You can't stop me.
Stop right there. You hear a voice coming from behind you. You won't destroy my life's work. Yo. Two stamina? Man, I can take this guy. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, I'll take him out in two turns. That's pretty good. Wrecked. Okay, uh, what else is there? So let's keep going. It's pretty bright now, I might be able to take this off. Okay. Confront the stranger, continue looking, run in terror. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery and shadows move in fantastic and uncountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Okay. Uh... Let's see... I think I'm gonna keep looking. Can't seem to find the right tunes and waste and wasted a lot of time before I finally admitting defeat. Oh well, just do one ramen, please. Oh, cool! Because I have the flashlight. That's cool. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away from to another city. He suddenly. They left suddenly without even saying goodbye, and I recently apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wants to you to sell it. In an envelope, you find a key to his apartment. Search his flat with your flashlight. You shine your flashlight in the dark closet and something glitters at you. You grab it as the movie company enters the house. Deal 4 to 6 damage and it costs 2 stamina. 1 is 2 stamina. Uh, I don't know about that one. That's cool though, because I got bought the flashlight earlier and that actually helped me out. There's a there's a couple of events where you have to have certain items and uh, or uh, or people to be able to pass. Suddenly, an empty bottle breaks on the wall behind you. You cover yourself from the glass fragments and notice a mass assailant holding a baseball bat. Dang! Oh, it's a rider. I don't know if I- man, I think I'm gonna try running. Got plenty of doom, I think. Yeah, where's running? Here we go. Yes, I made it. Out of here. Ah, oh, that's right. Because I only have the ramen, because I didn't get the meat from the- the item stuff. Says, a mere day later, your friend rings her door. Her face is pale and a shaky hand she holds an analysis sheet. You usher her in and bolt the door. You feel ill looking at the charts. While they couldn't identify some of the particles, they did discover a highly addictive drug in the broth. The ramen restaurant must be closed immediately. A week later, police and officials stand where the ramen is used to be. Nothing remains but a gap in the street. Aimless, confused customers. You like to believe that was the end of it, but snippets in newspapers from other cities have settled you. Brief articles about an exciting new ramen restaurant opening up, its mysterious owner keeps showing up. You no longer eat girls go out feeling ill. It still disappeared, but the other time it had like a random demon show up. Oh wow, level up? Quick thinking. All combat proofs. Moves deal an extra point damage. Okay, I might have to get that because we're pretty much at the end of the game here. Core strength and uh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, let's see what the effect is. Weird epidemic keeps staff at the hospital busy. Oh man, okay. Mystery is well, let me do this real quick. Alright, uh, well, I think it's the end of the game technically, so no experience is I gotta do anything. Uh, stamina reason. I'll get one more stamina. Can't really start a new mystery, all the mysteries are done right now, so go back. Time to go to the lighthouse. Oh boy!
Let's go. It was the first time I've ever gotten to this place. Yeah, yeah, the mailbox always has, uh... <laughs> the mailbox always has, like, something hitting, uh, hitting you, but... Like, you can't check it. It just, <laughs> it's just there. Enter lighthouse. Multiple padlocks prevent you from entering the building. You need five keys. I got the five keys. Let's go. Padlock A, B, C, D, E. Enter the lighthouse. You finally made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut is telling you one of two things. That whoever or whatever is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place and that you should run as far as you can. You're afraid there won't be a way back once you start climbing these stairs. Oh man. Excess storage. I don't really have anything here. Start climbing. Following the winding staircase, you're stopped by darkness. A thick black cloud is obscuring your vision, and you can swear something is waiting for you inside of it. Uh, man. I'm gonna light my way. The light source seems to somehow repel the darkness, and you continue to climb the staircase safe. Yes! Following the winding staircase, you're stopped. Wait a minute. Someone broke into your apartment, stole all your clues. And new spirit clippings that pinned them here. Whoa! The more you study and you discover you can't remember any of them except one. Select the title of mystery and investigate it as the second one. Oh my god, I was not paying attention. Holy crap. Well, this sucks. <laughs> it's giving me a quiz. I remember hearing that I was supposed to keep paying attention to that too. Hey, what's up, Deadly Ray Neo? Crap. The one thing that I should have been paying attention to, I wasn't paying attention because I just did them like randomly. Oh wait, no, I did the the scissors one second. I did the scissors one second because you were here. Yes. Okay. You rip the newspaper clipping of a case you seem to remember. Underneath it is a tiny button. You press it, and with a buzz, the gate opens. Okay, I got it. I kind of remembered the order. You're stopped by a girl wearing a dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for her bag. It's too late anyway. You instantly take a step back when you notice a knife in your hand. You have to think fast. Not enough charisma. You try to talk her until long you pass, but suddenly she raises a knife and slices right across her own throat, nearly decapitating yourself. Wow. Okay. Sure. I I have high stamina reason, so I think I think I'm safe. But that's still that's still kind of nuts. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's locked, but you notice an electrical cable. It seems to connect the door to a hole inside the central pillar. There's a switch inside. You have to risk getting cut by neighbors' glass shards and knives. Well, I don't have a choice here. Yes, dexterity is good. You manage to locate the door switch while avoiding the knives and glass shards. With a buzz, the gate opens. Well, it's pretty good so far. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. A cable that should be powering it is currently disconnected. The power box itself is covered in a weird moist goo. Just inhaling the fumes makes your eyes itch and water, but to power the gate, you'll need to disconnect the faulty plug. Man, my good luck's gonna go away eventually. Wow, I made it! Weird goo burns your fingers, but you quickly manage to separate the faulty plug and connect the proper cable. With a buzz, the gate opens. Sick! The dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? Let's see... Okay, okay. Whoa! As a natural fog slowly lifts, you're relieved and collapse on the floor. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You manage to stop the rich awakening of Eldritch. Oh god, but what's done is done. It will stir in a slumber again and again until the stars are right again. Congratulations, you're safe for now. Oh shit. <laughs> I want to look at my stats and it went away. <laughs> I hit the wrong area. Wow, I made it. I did it.
And it would be the random one and not the one that's generated for you. <laughs> oh my god, I made it. Well, I think I'll call it a night or a morning. That's crazy. I didn't think I would do it the third time around, but that's cool. Uh, Alright, well, thank you everyone for watching. I think I'm gonna go and do uh, do some other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think I would get it the third try, but yeah, I'm starting to get the hang of everything. Uh, also, the, the amount of Doom was a lot lower than I thought I would have, but I did it. I did it! Yeah, but I'm starting to see a lot of the same mysteries, so I don't know... I don't know if I've already circulated through all of them, so I don't know if, how much more I'm going to be doing this game, but uh, it's so cool. I might still mess around with it a little bit. Maybe see what the, the custom stuff is right now for some of the other guys. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to head off. Uh, if you guys are interested in me doing something else, like maybe playing a game, like uh, I think I might start going through Persona 4 because I have it on my computer. And uh, I mean, I did, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be working again anytime soon, so I'll probably do that. So anyway, I'm going to head out. Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.